Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. The AH-64, also known as the Apache, is a fearsome weapon of war, and also a testament to the incredible technological achievements of modern aviation. The twin-engine attack helicopter was initially designed and produced by the American aerospace company McDonnell Douglas, now a part of Boeing. Developed in the 1970s as a replacement for the aging AH-1 Cobra attack helicopter, the first Apache prototype flew in 1975. The initial concept was for a helicopter that could perform a variety of roles. However, the final design was optimized for the ground attack role, focusing on long-range precision strikes against armored targets. What makes those strikes possible is the Apache's sophisticated radar system. It's known as the AN-APG-78 Longbow Radar. The millimeter wave radar operates at a frequency of 35 gigahertz. Longbow is designed to detect and track targets at long ranges, even in bad weather. This radar misses nothing. Engage with three zero rounds, MTAS, 30 mic mic, report BDA, over. Longbow has the ability to operate in fire and forget mode meaning it can detect a target, track it, and launch a missile to destroy it without requiring the pilot to maintain a continuous lock-on of the target. This allows the Apache to engage multiple targets at once and to engage targets that are out of the line of sight of the pilot. Furthermore, Longbow Radar has the terrain following capability, which allows the Apache to fly at low altitudes and follow the contours of the terrain. This makes the chopper a formidable weapon in the U.S. military's arsenal, as it can avoid detection by enemy radar. When it comes to weaponry, the Apache is famous for its 30mm cannon. The cannon on the Apache is capable of firing up to 625 rounds per minute. It is an integrated part of the helicopter's weapon system. and not loaded in the traditional sense. Instead, it's a self-contained system integrated into the helicopter's forward fuselage and fed from an ammunition drum located beneath the cockpit in the aircraft's lower fuselage. A warfighter on the ground. Usually that includes our brother sailors and marines. Go Army, beat Navy. The gun is mounted on the helicopter's chin turret, allowing a wide range of motion to aim and fire at targets. It's designed not only to be highly accurate, but effective against various targets. It can be aimed through the gunner's monocle attached to his helmet. Yeah. 
Another aspect of the Apache that makes it an elite helicopter is its agility. It's designed to fly in and out of a wide range of environments, including urban, jungle, and mountainous terrain. This is thanks to the Apache's pair of powerful turboshaft engines. And the helicopter's four-bladed main rotor, which allows it to hover and maneuver in tight spaces. The Apache's advanced avionics and flight control systems include a digital autopilot to help the pilots fly the aircraft more effectively, but without constant touch. The Apache is relatively easy to move from a base to an offensive or defensive position in wartime. Here, U.S. airmen unload an Apache from a C-17 Globemaster III at an airbase in Qatar. Unlike other helicopters that must be transported in a disassembled state with the main rotor blades, tail rotor, and other components removed and packed in crates for transport, the Apache's blades as seen here, are folded so that the helicopter can be tucked safely into the cargo area of a military jet without being completely disassembled. The size and power of the Apache means it can carry a decent load of weapons. The AH-64A and AH-64D models can comfortably bear a dozen Hellfire missiles. Hellfire missiles are used to engage ground targets. Nice, nice spot, man. Real nice. They also carry either Hydra 70 or APKWS 2 rockets, normally used for air to air defense against enemy aircraft. It may be attached to a launcher or loaded onto the Apache's rocket pods. Rockets must be carefully aligned and secured in place to prevent any movement or damage during flight. Electronic connections are made between rocket pods and the helicopter's avionics system. This is necessary to allow the pilot to control the missile during flight. In an emergency situation, the Apache can be up at a moment's notice. With the right support team, arming and fueling the Apache takes about 30 minutes. A fuel truck drives up to the helicopter, saddling up to either side thanks to not one, but two fueling points on either side of the chopper. The fueling points are normally color-coded to indicate the type of fuel to be used. With internal fuel alone, the Apache can fly fully combat loaded for only a little more than two hours. The Apache is a relatively heavy helicopter, which can make takeoff a challenging and complex procedure. The rotors allows for greater stability and control during takeoff and other flight maneuvers. The chopper's two turboshaft engines provide the necessary power to lift the aircraft off the ground and propel it forward. 
Those engines are also designed to provide high levels of torque, which is important for maneuvering the helicopter during takeoff and other flight operations. Finally, the Apache's advanced flight systems, including a digital flight control system and automated stability augmentation system, ensure the chopper is stable and controllable during takeoff. In 2016, this Apache underwent a mandatory test flight check. When you see an AH-64 hovering just a few feet above the ground, there are a number of things the pilot can be doing. One is as simple as a compass swing to ensure the standby compass indicator is indicating properly. In the event there's an electrical failure in the aircraft, and the pilot has to refer to more of a primitive means of navigation. Deep maintenance occurs at regular intervals on all aircraft in order to keep them operational. Those intervals could be every 1,000 or 1,500 flight hours. It involves a complete disassembly of the Apache and the inspection and repair of components that are normally not accessible during routine maintenance. Here, soldiers of the 1st Battalion, 3rd Aviation Regiment conduct phase maintenance on an AH-64 Apache helicopter at Katerbach Army Airfield in Germany. In order to stay competitive and on the cutting edge of technology, it's essential for the U.S. Army to update its equipment. That requires training pilots on that new equipment and software. In 2021, Pilots at Fort Stewart trained on the Army's newest helicopter, the AH-64E, or ECHO. The aircraft has an improved engines, more power, has an improved drive system with more robust transmission, which allows the aircraft to be much more durable, have much more power to perform maneuvers and carry weapons to the battlefield. They also have a large increased uh, number of sensors and suites and even new missiles that the old airplane was not capable of carrying. The AH-64 is considered the U.S. Army's most feared helicopter ever built due to several factors. Its firepower is lethal as it is, equipped with a 30 millimeter cannon, Hellfire missiles, and rockets. The Apache's advanced technology enables it to operate effectively in nearly all environments. And its survivability is astounding. The Apache is designed to be highly survivable with a durable airframe, redundant systems, and advanced defensive measures. Together, these factors make the Apache a highly effective and feared weapon on and above the battlefield. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. 
Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.